All right, well, let's see. So it's about uh, two of nine. And so as we're sitting here this morning, so far, you know, just small gains, nothing really super exciting. Some small gains on DTSS, some news that came out a little earlier this morning. So it's up 25%. Uh, didn't really trust it with big size, of course, because right now I'm just being a bit more conservative, but some small gains on DTSS. Uh, TBLT, this is another one that's up. It's our third leading gapper right now. You know, moving a bit higher, but um, right now kind of just holding uh, a little bit under five dollars which i think is sort of a critical level so uh we're and we're about a minute away from 9 a.m so i want to see if uh we get some news o n e m does have news however the news is that they're being bought out by amazon so it's most likely just going to open pretty darn close to the buyout price that's the way the algorithm kind of works so um it's just it's just the way it is so that's going to open pretty pretty close to that level and it'll be a big gapper but uh, there won't be any opportunities to really day trade it we missed it all right so that one's um noted but uh, no opportunities for those tuning in uh this morning on youtube uh, thank you guys for being here reminder um on youtube the broadcast is slightly delayed. We use ultra low latency streaming servers for um, members of Warrior. So they all have a ultra low latency broadcast link. So they're gonna hear me probably before you do. Uh, and they also have no ads on YouTube. We're gonna have um, ads and we're gonna see how that helps the YouTube algorithm uh, recommend this channel to other people knowing that now YouTube will get paid. I'll make, uh, if all of you guys watch the ads today, about $15. So I wouldn't consider it substantial. Uh, I suppose it adds up, but it's uh, really not substantial. So this is uh, really about feeding the YouTube algorithm. Saidu popping up a little bit there. Not sure if there's any news on it. Watching level two. Light volume. Any news on Saidu? Anyone see any news? No. Just popped there up to 429, but yesterday moved up to 460. So there it's going a little higher. Yeah, so, hmm. Yep, so there is news on it. So taking a long on Saidu there. And I'm going to add on this for the squeeze up to 475. So now we're looking Saidu for a move up to uh, 475, 480. So I'm going to hold this position and add there 465. Now looking for 470. Generally on this type of stock, I want to try to catch a bigger move. We've got a high up here at 75, so let's look for the break of 475 and then a move up to $5. There's 74. A little bit of profit, switching to this account, holding at 63, buying the dip at 64. Now looking for the pop back up through 70. There's 75. So traded this one a little bit more using both accounts. High of this level is 75. It's got resistance there switching back to this account new order at 75 leaving it at 76 it's having a little bit of trouble breaking through that level so thank you for calling out the news I could have jumped in it sooner uh, I hesitated a better entry would have been 29 I got in at 50 so I got in 20 cents later so some of you guys uh, may have had a better entry than I did Saidu so right now is it's only up 11%. Well, yesterday's high was 59, so we did break that level. So let's watch first one minute candle to make a new high. Dip at 63 there. There's a 40,000 share bid. Profit is 67. So you saw that 40,000 share bid. I want to see see right there at 65, added at 66 again. 
because of that big bid. Let's see if that pushes it through 75. Watching the ad at 74.75. This is a one minute micro pullback setup. Reminder as always, especially for those tuning in, trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money. My results are not typical. Add it at 72. There's 73. Looking for 74. And then 75. And then the move up to 80. Sell, selling into that um, buyer there at 65 for a small loss. Watching for a dip. Added at 61. That's a better dip trade. And now let's see if it comes back up. Our one minute is not a broken pattern. Our one minute still looks good. Added at 65, 63 average. Now looking for a second attempt through 475. Still looking at that first uh, one minute candle to make a new high. High of this current candle is 73. So we're sitting at a 13% gain right now. There's 65, 68, 69. I'm gonna take the gain at 68 for now. Recoups the loss of the last trade. I'm not sure if it's gonna break through that level. All right, so let's see. Um, I'll put up my disclaimer for a quick second there, just as a reminder that trading is risky. You shouldn't try to blindly follow me or anyone else. Always practice in a simulator before you put real money on the line. All right, so high of this candle is 475. Leaving the order there, 477. Watching the tape right now. So I'm watching the ask price, watching the tape. Looking to see if we, we definitely had a 40,000 share buyer. Um, so someone bought 40,000 shares up at this level. So is that someone covering a short position from yesterday? Maybe. Someone looking to buy to go long. That would be interesting. In any case, it displays some degree of belief that the stock is gonna go higher. Added there, 72. Wanna to try to catch this break. Holding right now, 72. Interesting uh, order flow on this. Added at 62 to buy the dip. It seems like, um, let's see if we pop back up to 75. seems like a little bit of uh, chop here under this 75 level which is important that's the level that we want to see break sixty three on the bid sixty four on the ask there's sixty five I'll just take the loss on it for now it's a bit of a fake out there high volume red candle So, all right, well, um, we'll keep it on watch. Still bullish, but we'll see how it, how it trades. It's in a very narrow range right here. Yeah. Um, I'll have to check my calendar, maybe.
DTSS, small gains. The high was 45. Yeah, if we're looking at top gappers, um, Saidu is barely in the top 10. It's it's gapping up, but it's not gapping up enough. So it had news, but then ran into resistance fairly quickly. S&P 500. Yeah, a little choppy here pre-market, kind of popped up, pulled back. Nothing super exciting yet. Uh, Saidu was uh, posted, it was posted, where, where was it? Right in the chat room, I think someone mentioned it. So it's about 10 past nine. And at least we got something there on Saidu. Better than better than nothing. I could have done better on it. I would have had to have been willing to jump in at 429 without being certain that there was news. And that is what I wasn't quite confident doing. So once I confirmed that there was news, I jumped in. And I paid a price of about 20 cents a share to confirm that there was news. And ironically, even though there is news, um, it didn't open up as much as I thought it would. So we've even seen stocks with no news that have done better. Of course, yesterday we had PGY. Uh, this one right now just sort of pulling back, but nice move. Yep, ONEM buyout. SMR on the scans, lighter volume. Blue sky is above uh, something up here. There you go. 1227, and it's actually at 1328 uh, on the ask right now, so it'll be above all time highs, blue sky setup. But later on volume, DTSS back over 33. Uh, well, see, the problem with this one is that it broke VWAP and then got back below it. I don't really like that. Usually when we go for that curl and break over VWAP, I want them to hold. So I do, if it can reclaim VWAP and break over 63, that would be good. Still potentially a five minute pattern could form. Good morning. ADXN, well, I just thought that that was a little on the cheaper side. Uh, but it is at least above volume weight average price. We have uh, two new interviews uh, that will get posted this week in chapter 17. Uh, for Warrior Pro, uh, interviews with profitable traders. So two new interviews going up this week that you guys can check out with uh, Marcello and with Nick.
Good morning, Rusty. Ashley sounds good. What did I say? Did I did I say Marcello or Marcello? It's you know, yeah, it's hard for me. I I still read uh, Jorge's name as George. I just once you know you get it into your head, it's uh, it's really hard to. To break that, I mean, I'm especially bad with that. It's not one of my strong, strong points. All right, so let's see. Um, Saidu, reclaiming VWAP, high 66. That one is on watch. DTSS, reclaiming VWAP. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a struggle here to figure out which one is obvious. Both have news, but uh, both seeming a little a little tricky right now. So traded in uh, both my margin account and my uh, retirement account with small gains in that account. was hoping for the move up to five, but whatever. Hmm. Yeah, and there's OLMA. I uh, was looking at that one earlier, but it's pulling back a bit below VWAP right now. Okay, so we've got about 14 minutes to the bell, and um, I think at this point I'm going to be continuing to kind of watch to see if there's another opportunity to take a trade between now and the bell on either DTSS or Saidu, uh, or maybe something else that pops up. ADXN is moving higher. So we'll see if we get another trade before the open, and then as we go into the open, we'll try to figure out um, in the next 15 minutes which one's going to be the most obvious.
So ADXN is moving a little bit higher. Yeah, agreed. ADXN seems pretty thickly traded. Hey, Ryan, good morning. SMR is pulled back a bit. Big spreads on that one. So ADXN is currently leading Gapper, ONME buyout, second leader, DTSS, third leader at nine with nine million share float, NLSP, 70 cents, SMCI, $54, TBLT up 17%, VDU up 13, 14%. Look at that sell-off. Gosh, these are so brutal when they've been doing that. Uh, yesterday, there were some opportunities later in the morning. Uh, PGY, uh, this was uh, you know, primarily later in the morning, and then in, even into the close. RYTM, this one was a little bit later. So it may be worth uh, watching a little bit longer today to see if we get anything that starts to open up, give things uh, some time. So we've kind of had our pre-market session here and uh, some mixed momentum, a, a bit of opportunity here and there if you were quick, but nothing really sustaining coming into the open. That's interesting. Thanks, Stephanie. Appreciate that. Sure. Um, I can, uh, I'll send you a message on that. Let's see. I'll have uh, Kate email you. Good question. Well, maybe the next time I'm ready to take a trip to the post office and plan to be there for like three hours. I do have uh, I do have a lot of merch, but the post office.
All right, so we've got about six and a half minutes to the opening bell. Uh, thank you for folks who have been uh, tuned in on YouTube. Appreciate you guys uh, being tuned in. Sounds like uh, some of you got no the notification that I was streaming today, which is good. Um, I know that those are have been inconsistent on YouTube, uh, but we'll see if YouTube prioritizes it a little bit more since the streams are monetized. Send people over to the broadcast. My hope is that for beginner traders out there, you find this broadcast and learn that in order to be successful, you've got to practice a lot in a simulator before you ever put real money on the line. That you know that you can't blindly follow email text alerts or broadcast alerts. You have to be able to think for yourself and you have to be able to learn a strategy. And you probably are best off avoiding uh, OTC stocks, especially penny stocks. And I know it's the opposite of what you know where a lot of people start, but uh, my hope is that I can get you pointed in the right direction. So thank you guys for being tuned in and hitting the thumbs up. Hopefully the notifications will start working better. Saidu curling back up. It's a five minute setup. Would only trust it at this point with smaller share size because it's already proven a bit of choppiness. And it's only up 13%. Well, I would say the pivot is about 66. So 66 potentially um, but you know at the same time it's only nine cents away from the high it's back over VWAP here So, you know, watching the level two, like if, you know, that 40,000 share buyer came back or something like that, I might say, all right, I'll jump in at 62. I don't, of course, see that right now. Uh, the high there is 66. There's 64. So a little bit of green on the tape there. The green on the tape is what says, all right, press the buy button. So press the buy button in at 64. Now watching for the break over 69 and 70. And then I could consider adding into the move at 77, 78. So watching right now, got my 64 average, orders at 75 to try to scale in. There's 67. So taking a four cent loss on it, about 120 bucks. I would consider that to be more or less breakout or bailout, just cutting the loss quickly. Down here, dip trade at 47. That is an irrational sell-off. Bought the dip there at 47. Now watching back over 65. Not really sure where that sell-off came from. So holding right now at 47. Let's see if it breaks back over 65. Green on the tape. We've got two minutes to the open. Add it at 55. Now looking for the break back through 60. So 
So we've got 90 seconds to the opening bell and we'll see if Saidu is able to get through 75. Uh, it's still of course early in the day and as you recall we had some good opportunities yesterday. Profit at 56 for now. Nice dip off 47, wish I'd bought more shares, but that's fine. All right, so as we come into the open, we'll look to see which one becomes obvious and if we get some momentum between now and uh, noon time or so. All right, so uh, reminder as always, trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money, so make sure you take it slow and uh, I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning for those on YouTube and we'll keep broadcasting here for uh, for members.